and we have Mr. Spencer on board. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. How you doing this morning? How is it over there where you at? Is it cold there or what? Man, yeah, it is really cold. I woke up this morning, it was about 30 degrees. Oh, now that's cold. Now I'll take that. Now that now yeah. that's cold. What about yeah, what about you? What's going on out that way? Uh 47 degrees. People running around here with the winter coats on down to their ankles and like it's snow outside and it's not. Yeah, that's cold for our uh, west I uh, when I was in the military, I was stationed out stationed out there in uh, El Paso. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. It gets it gets cold there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gets cold. But, get that yeah. get that dry cold out there. How you, how's everything going? What's up? Oh, nothing much, man. We just sitting here getting ready for our grand opening and stuff. Just just sitting here, just um, mellowing out. Uh huh. Okay, okay. But it's good to meet you, and uh, thank you for having me. Okay. Yeah, this interview and everything, uh, it's an honor. So, yeah, yeah. so t tell everybody about your history in music and how you got started and who you played with. Oh, Lord. Wow. Um, well, music always been around in my family. Uh, uh, same old story. Um, uh, from listening to 73 records that my mother had <laughs> and singing uh, as a child in church. Uh, my older brother would play for us. We'd go around and sing, had a little quartet. I didn't know what it was at that time. All I knew that we were going to sing and it was something that I enjoyed doing. And, you know, with my sisters and brothers. And uh, from there, it just... You know, I just continued, you know, in music, uh, had an interest in playing an instrument. You know, all my older brothers and sisters played uh, 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 instruments. Everybody in the family played something, piano and all. And uh, uh, started playing trumpet about the fifth grade, you know. Yeah. And uh, actually, in my bio, I was, I was saying uh, my late sister, Barbara, Barbara. Uh, my mother wouldn't. Uh, I come. I come out of a, a blessed family. We were just real, really close. And uh, I mean, I'm talking about back in the '60s segregation, you know. And uh, Barbara Ann uh, was taking band camp. And uh, so whenever one of the uh, girls in the family would go somewhere, one of the guys had to go, and I was there at the time. So I went with her this particular day, and she uh, came in after they had a break. And uh, I said, Rodney, if there's an instrument here on this, you know, that was in the band room at the time, which one would you choose? And I knew all of them played reed instruments, you know, uh, uh, saxophone, clarinet. So I picked the trumpet because it looked easy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, man. And uh, not only played very well, you know, uh, in high school uh, uh, and uh, excelled in it pretty well. Uh, and from there, um, I guess I got to be around, I guess I was around 14, I, I, I would imagine. And I, uh, had did a few talent shows, you know, around town. And my older brother, Cornell, was playing alto, who plays alto. And my late brother, he's, he's passed also. He, uh, came in one evening and said, Rodney, he said, um, if we need a trumpet player. He said, you can do it. That's where we talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? He said, you can do it. Because we knew each other, you know? Yeah. We knew each other's potential. Because, you know, this family, that's where we were. We were raised that with love. And uh, so I believed him because I trust him, you know? So I went with him to the rehearsal and had a guy from um, college. He was from Pembroke. He may have been an instructor. That guy was tough. You know, this articulate and all the scales. You know, I'm a high school trumpet player, you know, 14 years old. You know, and uh, they gave me the job because I had that soul. Yeah. You see? You see? And that's what he knew that they needed. And he knew I could do it. You see, I didn't know at the time all of this is, you know, you know, retrospect. And, uh, uh, and I got that job because... Uh, uh, 
it's music. It, it was, it's, it's not easy, but when you around folk that give you confidence, you know, no matter where you are, you know, uh, like my older brother, Richard, late brother, he just died a couple of years ago, I uh, wrote, and uh, Color Him Father back in 68, 69, went on to get a Grammy, you know, gold record and all of that. And uh, it just really encouraged me to, you know, want to, you know, pursue this. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, I had uh, Bob Rand, you know, she was a graduate from Livingston College down here. You know, she had a degree, you know, she taught music at some of the high schools up in Connecticut and such. But she wasn't happy, but she ended up going on the road with a band that went out west. I think they used to open for the BGs and stuff, but they had a more, more, you know, uh, 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 better uh, experience than I did. You know, mine was most mostly local, and 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 such. You know, uh, I uh, we uh, a, a band that I had was a house band for a club here in Waysboro. We were still teenagers at the time. And at this time, I'm talking about back in the 60s and and things just, we didn't, small towns, we just didn't have the connections, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, my brothers and sisters would tell me, you know, you need to, even my mother, you know, you know, I don't even know how she put up with all that noise in the house all the <laughs> time, but she was such a, <laughs> parenting is such a, you know, you, you see, you know, you know, but I, I, I would imagine she would rather us be there than out in the street. But we still did the thing, you know, I smoked reef and, you know, drink beer and everything that teenagers do. You know, I still had my life, but still I had a better understanding of of things uh, cons uh, because of my family and uh, they're directing me and helping me like we, you know, all the way down, you know, you know it was seven of us and uh, uh, at the time. And, uh, and uh, but they would tell me like you know, hey, you know, you know, you you, you can't make it. You gotta have you know something to fall back on, you know, and 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 you know, so don't you know, you know, just be the dead horse, you know. But it was you know, music. Uh, it's 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 just a beautiful thing, you know, and uh, um, coming up in the family that I. I came up in, and the way that I came in, came up in this family, my sisters and brothers, uh, older than I, uh, give taught me a lot. So, uh, 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 playing with them and, and and everything was great. And I I took those experiences out into the world, you know, you know, playing with other groups and and everything, and knowing how bands should should sound what instruments, you know, should be used a certain thing. Did a lot of recording and such, you know. We opened for the five stair steps and uh, played in some of the same arenas as the Emotions, you know, some groups that was uh, popular back then. And uh, that's about as far as it went. You know, I'm, I've never done anything that charted, you know, yeah, you know, but I've done some good things, you know, and uh, and I'm happy with that, you know. So, uh, so, so what, what was, um, uh, some of the recording before we go, go on, is there a light you could put on? Cause we got a bad shadow. Oh, Can okay. A light on. Yeah. You want to turn this light off? No, there you go. Well, no, you cut it on. It's on now. Okay. We need it on. Uh, probably you could maybe pull up further to the uh, camera because it's, it's just showing a silhouette of you. Oh yeah, I can see that now. Yeah, maybe the light behind me, backlight. That's better. That's what it was. Yeah, that backlight. There, 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 we there we go. Yeah, that's better, uh, isn't it? All right. So, um, I do know one recording studio when I was a teenager, running back and forth from Illinois down to Mississippi and stuff. Somebody told me about Muscle Shoals. And I went by the recording studio one time. That was in the 70s. And mm -hmm. uh, 
that's where a lot of the black artists went to back in the days to do their first recordings and stuff. So what what are some of the recording studios that you um 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 venture to? Uh back in the uh 90s uh I uh uh well, let's see Charlotte uh there was a couple of studios there one of them was <laughs> it was a uh, uh, Arthur Smith studio it was a big place this this this, this um um a guy a white guy he had a TV show and uh, we went into his, his studio and recorded uh, some stuff. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember the songs. And I used this other uh, studio that was here in town that we brought up. Most of them were, um, you know, small studios, you know, independent, nothing, you know, labels or anything. Yeah. Because it, 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 um, and the last couple of times I've, I've used... Uh, Tedland up in Durham, North Carolina. And I plan, I'm planning to go back in there uh in May. We're getting that together now. We're like, you know, pretty much doing post production, you know. So I'm um, trying to get everybody together. Uh, uh using uh Kiana, who's singing worthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh myself, uh, maybe Mitchell Patton plays keyboard. He's an arranger too. And uh Wayne Key. You know, that's John P. Key's brother, Alfonso Key, you know, that family. Uh, my sister played with them a lot. Um uh back in the seventies. He was the lead guitar for a group that they had back then. And uh Al and I've been knowing them, you know, off and on all my life, yeah. you know, through my sister Barbara. But uh a lot of lot of you know uh stuff like that. I'm trying to think. Uh we did some stuff with uh, a guy out of uh oh Lord, what was the name of this? Oh man, it's been a while. Back in the nineties, he was up in Concord. Just independent studios. People have studios in their home, uh, you know, that are in the industry and that have you know, that are good. You know, good studios, you know, and, and such. But nothing, like I say, n- nothing uh, connected to a label. Maybe that's what you're asking. No, just just curious because um, people go from studio to studio, and you know, mm-hmm. it's just um, people say this studio is better than this. It had this, it had that, and then uh, one person, um, matter of fact, what goes into the next question? Uh, somebody already chimed in and asked about. Uh, what determines a good singer? Is it the studio or live performance? It's uh, all of that, but basically it's the producer and it's your, it's your, if, if, if you have a good producer and you can sing, he's going to tell you and lead you through the song about, you know, to let you know you know, lead you, you know, and direct you. You know, if you can follow directions, use your voice, listen to them. You know, just like an actor. Yeah. You know, and you know, but if you have those abilities yourself as a producer, like a lot of guys have, you know, you already know what to do and how to do it, and you do a lot of things and whatever. And uh, uh, but when you have my wife keep calling me. Can you excuse me a minute? Yeah. Are, are we? What's that? Are we on there? Yeah, we're on there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my wife keep, <laughs> keep calling. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, yeah. To be able to uh, uh, listen to the producer and follow their instructions, if that's what you're using. But if you're a good producer, use your voice, you know, do some takes, go back and listen to you, your voice and the music, you know, get it all, you know, together and, uh, 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 you know, have some good vocals. Yeah. You know, and know what the instruments and everything you need to be doing. 
you know, do a lot of post-production, uh, sit down and plan it, think it out, you know, and see it before you do it. You know, those those things, you know. Okay. And uh, 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 it's what I do. You know, if I'm, I'm going to do a performance or uh, uh, something, I go through the whole thing in my mind, you know. And uh, uh, I call it, for me, uh, allow it to minister to me, you know, to me, you know, and listen to it, write it down, change it, you know, and uh, 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 be serious about it. Tell the truth, you know, yeah. in your lyrics, you know, and uh, um, that that would be a good start. I hope I answered this question. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Um, the next one is... Um... When you do a contract for a singer and stuff, um, we know a lot of singers back in the days got sort of bamboozled on royalties and stuff. Yeah. They they never got their fair cut of it. So with you doing music and stuff, do you um let your singers know about everything up front, royalties and all that? Yeah. I, I let them know and I'm transparent and I um uh, give them the best information that I can as far as showing them the account. If I'm doing something, I use CB Baby. And uh, and they have a set up where you can go into account and look at the, you know, what the royalties are doing, uh, what the licensing and, and or whatever. And, uh, but you still get, <laughs> it seemed like, yeah, you know, your song would have to be just, great for you to be able to, to 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 make enough money where you can be comfortable and at the same time have someone else to go that knows how to check those things go back and check those things but be honest and straight up with the folk that you're working with you know and uh, you, you you know and if you can't do it find a way to, to explain to the people that you're working with you know because yeah. uh, what's better? What's better for? Uh, how can we be better? That's my philosophy. How can I make you better and you make me better? How can we both be good? Yeah, you see, and and, and be equal in fact with because everybody participates, you know. And uh, 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 knowing, you know, you know, have your have it planned. That's part of post production. Yeah, yeah, like look, like for here, um, the radio station, we made sure that we got the license cover to play things. Um, there's so many mm -hmm. people out there that play things, they get caught. They don't have the money to pay for the fine. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I did when I went into this business right here, I made sure everything was on the up and up and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess over nobody music, you know. So mm -hmm. that that's how I look at it. And that's how er and you also know. Um, bootlegs get away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's another way of you losing your royalties when people start bootlegging your music. Yeah, and if the if the people that are bootlegging or the people that are uh, 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 taking advantage of your royalties are more have have a better advantage over you, you know, with a company or something. You, you know, I kind of you know hate to say it, but I kind of expect. You know, yeah. I'm gonna get get swindled, but it's 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 a bad way to be, and and I can't allow the monetary thing influence my creativity and my uh, uh my gifts and talent. You know, I can't concentrate on the money. You know, yeah. You know, the money will come if it's if it's good. It's gonna slam, bam. You know, and God gonna take you there. He give give me my gifts to bring people together. You know, and uh, I uh, focus on that, and uh, and that all my life. You know, I mean, I built many houses. You know, God's manager and stuff. You know, as a kid. You know, and 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 everything, and uh, paying for stuff out of my pocket you know, uh, recordings and, and stuff, which I can't afford, you know, but it's, it's you know, you know, it's, I just believe, you know, you know, that uh, 
uh, everybody wants to, you know, I give people the benefit of the doubt. And uh, let me let me put it this way: my brother Richard told me years ago. He said, Rodney. He said, uh, one thing about life. He said, if you if you if you're doing if you give somebody something, don't expect anything back. You know, if you're doing it from your heart and you're giving something, you know, and out of love, you know, you, you know, don't don't be looking for, you know, well, you know, you remember I did this for you, I gave you this, you know, you know, uh, don't you know, don't necessarily be looking for anything back, and um, I, I kind of settled with that, so I'm down now, you know, I've I've, been, I've gotten into a lot of situation with a lot of musicians, you know, because they thought. You know that I was getting more than you know what I was. It, it wasn't true. You know, yeah. I'm just a good. I'm very resourceful and I'm spiritual, and I'm I believe in God because He takes care of me. You know, and uh, and and what a person may have thought that they got, I probably would have given it to them if they had asked. Yeah. You know, you know. But I don't have it to give, but you, you know, you know, so, yeah. you know. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so let, let's talk about your gospel music now. Mm -hmm. You sent me some tracks. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. And you have a video out, too. And um, those are in our in our rotations on Sundays. Um, oh, I, I put really? those, oh, yeah, I put those in the rotation on Sundays because um listening to the lyrics really um it means a lot. See, people gotta understand gospel. Gospel to me is written from the heart that what what God yeah. gave you to write about. And you gospel is written about life experience sometimes and what yes. you've been through. It's a testimony. And if you listen yeah. to it, and if you listen to it. It's telling your testimony in there without you yeah. knowing if you listen to it. So some of your songs really touch my heart by by uh, um, bringing out the testimony out of anybody. Because somebody can listen to that music right now, one of your songs right now, and they can sit back and can relate if yeah. it's them to somebody else. So how 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 is it you go about writing that music? What comes to you when you write those gospel lyrics? Life. My experiences you know we all suffering will do that when you say it, it would do do you know uh testimonies are supposed to be shared uh i do it the best i can i really appreciate that thank you thank you and uh and that's what i i i, I pray i say to god i talk to god every day i say lord you know Use me, that may be of some help in your service. You know, uh, he, I've, I've been through a lot of things. You know, like I said, I brought up, up in a family. My mother and grandmother, my father left. I mean, he was an educated man back in the 40s, one of the first, owned a car, and, but he was a sport, you know? And uh, he didn't want a big family, I guess. I don't know. I never did get a chance to talk to him much because he was gone. But my mother, couldn't she couldn't and 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 I knew she, she, remember her guys she, she couldn't teach us to be men because a woman can't do that she can't teach but she could teach me she taught me how to treat women and uh, uh what to ex expect in in life you know as I got older but uh, how to deal with things you know in, in 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 that way, to remember, to to understand, to be honest, you know, and 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 you know, it got me in a lot of situations where people, you know, would would say, you know, you know, he's probably, you know, you know, gay or this, you know, but it wasn't. It was just I was, there was a lot of women in my family, and that we all loved each other. And uh, uh, they treated me as as a man, and 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 all my experiences from from as a child up until now, you know, 
uh, I, I, I've been through the drug thing, you know, because the situation I've been pimp, <laughs> you know, uh, and hated it the whole time. That's how I tell people, people, you know, we know when we are doing wrong. I'm, it's just not me. You hear these stories all the time about, especially with, with people, they're always saying, you know, you know, I didn't have a dad, I didn't this, and, you know, I was doing this, and I was bad, you know, but if you've never been to jail, if you've never murdered anybody, we all know in our hearts at the time that we're doing something wrong, we know, and but we have to make that choice. Yeah. And we make those choice, and when, if we find ourselves in situations, we have to come out of it and have a positive result. Which means when I came out of situations like with drugs, I went back to college. You see, I had to fill that hole, that void. You see, it was something positive. You see, it was community college. You know, uh, I had forgotten how smart I was. I hope I'm answering your question. I know I'm probably rambling because I think back over my life, man, and I. And, and, and all these experience and this music and everything comes out of all of the things that I see each day because I see people struggling. I see mothers struggling, you know, that are so young. And I said, my mother birthed me when she was 35. And it was, it was already six of us. Why are these folks with like two kids having so much, so much problem? Because they're worried about the world. You know, they worry about what people think. And that was the main thing she did. She's writing them. Don't worry about what nobody let them say. People will jump in front of you. They want to jump in front of you. Let them jump, you know. But you, you know your your experiences. If you would just allow yourself to 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 deal with that and and go through that suffering, God gonna bring you out. And so through all of those experiences, and and you know my travels in the military. You know I did seven years, and. Uh, uh, I needed to do that. You know, I, I had to more like a tourist. You know, I go down in the village and I look at people and got to know people, you know, uh, you know, it's, which it's a simple life that we, but, and it's easy if we just give some love and we just really open our eyes and look around us and stop trying to be like everybody else is. And there's so many identities out there now in the world. I, I, I see a lot of, it's so many, you know, there are people now is, you know, they have children and they don't even want to say if they're a boy or a girl. They say that they're a child. And I, I don't, I don't, it's complicating, you know, but life, I don't know. For me, and I sing about these things because they continue to happen. Children are suffering, they are dying. Uh, we are, you know, we are, we are, you know, God has the answer to everything. And uh, it's not that difficult for us to find it. If we stay in prayer and we get into his word and, and, and read and listen. And to those that do know, the elders, your uncles that uh, have been through some things, you know, your father that has been through some things and pass that information down to you to help spare you of some of the things that you may have to go through, but you can avoid because you're talking to someone and that has has been been through it. So I try to incorporate that in, in the song and remind folk, people that you know uh, you know what's going on. Open your eyes and just look around. You know we we can fix this thing, and if we just uh, you know uh, you know just just open our eyes. You know that's the best way I can say it. I, I hope I, I hope I answered. Oh, no, no, you did, you did, you did. And yeah, that was good. That was good because that's what it's all about. That's your testimony. You put it into songs and everything. So how can people get a hold of your music? Where where can they go? Spotify. It's on Spotify, uh, Apple, um, Amazon music. Basically. All of the uh, media, music media uh, uh, platforms, uh, if they uh, have a song that they wanted to, to hear, one of the one that you're playing, and they want to download it, they uh, 
just put the song in, you know, go into Google and put it in. It'll take them to where they need to go, you know? Yeah. Uh, but basically, Amazon and Spotify, there's another uh, 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 did I say Apple Music? Yeah. yeah. Basically, those those music platforms. Just, just you know, uh, and uh, just go to you know, click on the music, download it, you know, follow the dialogue, and and you know, it'll take them to this music. And I would appreciate that if they listen to it and share it with some of their friends and their uh, circle and listen to it. You know, when you're riding or, or whatever, you know, you do just like any other other things and listen. Because I try not to, you know, be all, you know, uh, uh, prophetic, you know, and get all in, you know, because, you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of the gospel groups, a lot of the guys that are out there now that get catching a lot of flat, you know, mm -hmm. that are doing very good at big, you know, playing these big mega churches, people are, are judging them. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to judge them. But, to me, music is like this. It's just like my wife. I love her. If you love God, what you love, what, what it took to get them, that's what it's going to take to keep them. You can't change that. You know? Yeah. So I think that's with a lot of the, the uh, big stuff today. You know, if they love, if they love their music and, they, and, and what it took them to get started, that's what's going to take them to stay. Right. You know, and not do all this criticism and everything. They don't need to do all the things that they're doing and, and everything. But that's them, and I'm not judging them. But uh, stay focused on what God. You know, get the money's fine. You know, I have no problem with that. But don't let the money change you. You know, and and the, and, and, and 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 all. You know, what it takes to get it. What it takes to keep it. All right, amen to that. Well, Rodney, we appreciate you coming on board this um this morning. Okay. And um, I will. I'm like I say. Um, your music is in our rotation on Sunday. And if okay. you have, if you have anything else new that comes out, let us know, and we'll, and we'll put it on our Sunday um show. Well, I really enjoyed it, and I hope that uh, you have me back again sometime. Yes, sir. And uh, as soon as I finish this next project, probably be sometime toward the end of the year, mid summer, I'll get in contact with you and let you know. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it, Rodney. And I like to say to all your uh, listeners, God bless y'all. Keep it real, keep it honest, and uh, focus on your assignment because there's something special out there for you if you just focus on your assignment and keep it simple. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank right. you. Okay. Bye. Bye.